Hi everybody at Sean Ground. D James really got me going today. He wants me to figure some stuff out to give him more clarification. Because he said he's not in the rabbit hole. But if there's a second person in the room, he can't leave. Because there are sensors on the door locks that will say the door was unlocked again, the deadbolt was unlocked again. Both deadbolts were locked at 940 and 946 or something like that. And they were never unlocked again. It would be on record. But if you say that the record is part of the cover up, they're not going to say when the deadbolt was unlocked. You're putting way too many people in the cover up. Not everybody can be in this cover up. Maybe a couple people if it was a cover up. But somebody would have talked by now for not getting paid enough. You have like 30 or 40 or 50 people in this cover up that all have to be paid off. For what? To shoot a bunch of people at a concert and cover or For what? Like, what's the point? Usually people do crazy cover up shit to make a point. Gun control? Nah, man. When I first got my driver's license, my eyes say they're one color. But if I ever get a, if I die and I need to do an autopsy, I'm sure the guy might put down a different color. Like, what color are my eyes? When I got my ID, I was six foot. And now I'm 44 years old and I'm 5'11. I told Mr. Burgundy this before. I love Mr. Burgundy. So I used to be six foot, now I'm 5'11. When I'm 64 years old, I'll probably be 5'10. Lucky to be 5'10. So when I did Paddock's autopsy, and measured a person lying on a frickin' table. You can go 6'1". He said he's 6'1". On his hunting license, he's, Paddock says he's 6'4". Maybe he was 6'4 when he was a young man. He's a, he's a little bit less. He's 6'2 and a half or 6'3 now, if he's lucky. So I know the the doctor in the autopsy is not part of the cover up. If he was part of the cover up, he would have said six four. I gotta take Blondie for a walk. So Paddock got a got a food cart with his room service order. He's probably ordering room service for two. So people think there's another person up there with him. They know Mary Lou Danley's not there. Of course she's not with him when he's gambling and stuff. So he's gonna order for two, so they think maybe there's a prostitute up there. Maybe there was a prostitute up there at some point when he was ordering food, I don't know, but the food's, I don't think the food's all eaten or something. So he got the idea, man, I'm gonna put that food cart with a camera out in the hallway so the camera will face the stairwell door. Cause he's gonna put a camera in the peephole to face down the hallway. Or maybe he was gonna put a, camera in the peephole of 134 but I just figured it would be easier to set up his, you know his setup time to just put a food cart hey, hey, put a food cart in the hallway then he probably got the idea I'm gonna order room service again and I'm gonna get another food cart I'm gonna blockade that 134 door he can't see the 134 door he's vulnerable by the 134 door but the 135 door and he's shooting out the window pretty close. He just has to keep, take a couple steps and shoot the, the, the 135 door. So you got two food carts, what he orders, what he eats. Uh, that, that's not that important. What, like, if you, you don't have to figure that part of the case, out of the investigation. You don't have to investigate that. So when you're trying to figure out why there's clothes in one room and another room and one bed's been slept in and the other bed out. What bed he slept in. 
there's no reason to figure that out. Like, when I would stay in a hotel room, there would be shit everywhere. They would think there's 50 people in the room. I used to drink so much alcohol. I'm almost three years sober now. Well, from alcohol. I smoke weed, so let's not get crazy. But I can't drink alcohol anymore. But if you would have went in one of my hotel rooms, and food, and clothes, and shit. If I had an adjoining room, that shit would be filled up with stuff too. You wouldn't know how many people were in the room. And DJ James says that I believe that Paddock was the lone gunman since back in October. That's not right. I thought it was the Saudis until December 11th when I came home from Vegas. I went to Vegas by myself and walked around and looked at everything. I figured, yeah, one person can do this from just going there and looking at everything. I've been there hundreds of times. But I went there in December 9th and 10th. And that's when I started figuring it out. And then I looked at every video and listened to the gunshots and wrote down what time the gunshots start and stop, the breaks in between, every video, every video, over and over. My baseline was uh, Archangel video. It has all the, all the volleys. So I started with that and then I would just go to every video and match it to that. Not sync it like you've seen sync videos, but just getting the gunshots, the patterns. And then I started to believe, and this is in December, but before December, I thought it was the Saudis. I never thought it was helicopters at all. Saudi Prince probably wasn't even there. That's it. Thank you for watching my videos.